What is going on you guys and welcome back to another LumaFusion tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna make the hologram effect in LumaFusion. And a lot of you have already seen this effect since I put it up on my snap stories on this channel. But for those of you that haven't seen it, it looks something like this. This effect is super simple to make, it doesn't take that much time at all. But before we jump over to the tutorial, make sure that you click on that subscribe button, that would be really appreciated. Now, let's jump over to the iPad and start the tutorial. And once we move over to the iPad here, you see that we have the project, the hologram project here on the timeline inside of Luma Fusion. And that we also have some cinematic bars, which has been added, which you also saw in the intro of this video. And uh, this effect is really, really simple to make. And it's all about the hologram and the screen record. This screen record doesn't have to be from the iPhone, it can be from the iPad or it can be from your computer, depending on what you want to create a hologram out of. So if she was using an iPad, I would have simply recorded the screen of the iPad instead of the iPhone. So the, the way that this effect works is that you make the screen record overlay as kind of tech looking as possible with a transparency to it as well and then you have some sort of a hologram in Luma Fusion. Now most of you know how to edit a basic video with cinematic bars and so on. So what we're gonna do is to simply take the bottom clip here and the screen record and we're gonna go on and we're gonna recreate this hologram effect. So now that we have the two clips on our timeline, you can see right away that I placed the screen record on track number three. And we're gonna come back to that after we adjust the screen record to the position which we want to have it. Now, the first thing we need to do is to go into edit on this screen record. So double tap or click on the pencil on the bottom on the screen. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is to remove the cropping here so everything is uh, back to normal and then go to a size and positioning. Now, once you import this, it will be blown out like this. So you simply take two of your fingers and you shrink it in and place it wherever you want to have it. I think we have a perfect placement right there and uh, we can now go back to cropping. Once we go back to cropping, we're gonna adjust the crop of the top, bottom, and every side. So you won't, you don't wanna have this record button here, which you have on the top of the screen here. So we're gonna take the top crop and we're gonna drag a little bit down, just like that. Same with the bottom crop, we're gonna drag that a little bit up. And the left and right side, we're just gonna pinch in a tiny bit, something like that. Once we've done that, we're gonna take the edge softness and we're gonna take that over to something like 6.7. Once we're done with the cropping and the placement of the screen record here, we can go back to our timeline and we can take a look and see what it looks like. So this looks quite decent already, but we don't have any glow to it. So now, before we do anything else, let's start making the uh, glow around it before we actually go in and edit this uh, screen record. So the way that we edit this glow around it is to make a new overlay title and you do that by tapping on the circle here with the plus inside and choose overlay title. Now make sure that this has the same length as the screen record as well. Once we've done this, we're gonna go into the text layer over to titles and delete your text here. Now we're gonna add a new shape. This has to be square as well. And we're gonna take the face color opacity to zero, the edge color opacity to 100, and change the color to something which can indicate a sort of a neon or a tech look, which is usually a turquoise blue-ish. So we're gonna keep it there. And um, we're gonna take the width as well and increase that to around 50. And now we can place this on the side of the screen record here, just like this. So once we place the shape around it, we're gonna move over to color and effects, over to the water droplet here, 
and we're gonna apply a Gaussian 40. You instantly get the glow effect which we are looking for once you apply the Gaussian 40. You can also adjust the Gaussian blur if you wanted to glow less and uh, if you wanted to glow more or if you want to have the glow closer to the overlay or kind of glow further into the room. So I think we're gonna keep it somewhere around 38. So now that we applied the blur and the glow around the overlay here, we can take a look on the timeline and it looks pretty decent. So now the next thing we're gonna do is to actually make this look a lot better because we need this to be some sort of transparent and have some kind of technology vibe to it as well. And that's exactly what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna go into edit on the uh, screen record here by double tapping. We're gonna go over to color and effects. The next thing we're gonna do is to move over to the four squares here. And we're gonna add one effect called Litho Mix and one effect called Hatched. So we're gonna go on and we're gonna go to the bottom here to find Hatched first. And we're gonna go over and find the Litho Mix, which is here. And you can already see that we have a better look to the uh, screen record here, but we still need to make some adjustments. So on the hatched, we're gonna go and start with that. We're gonna take the width to 6.3 or 6.4. The next thing we're gonna do is to take the blending to 0 0.40 or 0 0.47, 50-ish. You can go with uh, 47. The next thing is to take the sharpness to 0.20-ish. Let's go with 21. And you can see now we have the lines here, which is giving it that technology vibe as well, but it's still missing something. So we're gonna go over to the uh, litho mix here, and we're gonna take the radius to uh, 16 or 0 0.16 or 15. We can go with 16 for now. And we're gonna take the blending mode down to 0.21 as well. And you can already see that you have a proper looking hologram here for your iPhone. It's transparent, you can see through, but we want to make it a little bit brighter as well. So we're gonna do that by adding some color correction to it. And by doing that, we're gonna go over to the uh, uh, paint board here and color presets and add one original. And we're gonna make sure that this original is placed in between those two. So once we place this in between the two, we're gonna go in and make this a little bit brighter. And once we're done with the color grading, we can apply a LUT if you wanna do that. I have a neon LUT, which I uh, like. So I'm gonna take that and place that in between here as well and make sure that this is above the original color preset. And you can now see it popped a lot more and uh, we're now finished with the hologram. So now let's go over to the uh, timeline here and uh, take a look and see what the hologram looks like. This is looking pretty good. So the next thing we're gonna do is, as well is to add some uh, cinematic bars. And once we apply the uh, cinematic bars, we can do a render and take a look at the final result. So there you have the super simple way of creating a hologram inside of Luma Fusion. I've also included the presets that I made, the color grading stuff in the description below from Google Drive. So you can easily go there and download the look if you uh, if you don't want to make it yourself. And uh, another thing I want to say is that this would have been a lot faster if for me if I didn't waste my time on trying to make this look or appear in 3D. Uh, because you can apply some skew to it, which you can do on in most softwares. It wasn't really, I wasn't really able to do that on the iPad with any apps. I didn't find an app that had the skew option for video. So if you know, if you know, if you know about a skew app or an app that can apply skew to videos, let me know in the comment section below because that will really help for the future tutorials which we want to have this 3D illusion look to as well. And if you don't know what this skew thing is, it's basically, you can look at it like this. You have a square and you have four corners. In every single corner, you have a, a, a dot. And this dot, you can kind of move 
as you want and you can do that with every single dot and you can kind of twist it and, and make it look super weird and with with the skew feature you can make thing appear as 3d or you can make the illusion of it being 3d so that's why i really want this uh, for um, our tutorials coming in the future as well so if you know let me know in the comment section below and with that said i really hope that you enjoyed this super simple tutorial as well and uh, as always if you make this effect uh, make sure to post it on instagram tag me on it and message me when you when you done that so i can check out your type of holographic um, overlay yeah <laughs> and also don't forget to uh, smash that subscribe button that would be highly appreciated as well and until next time keep on creating some awesome stuff in luma fusion make sure to tag me on instagram if you want me to check out what you made and uh, i see you guys in the next video Peace.